Hey my cuties and beauties, how are you guys doing? I hope everyone's staying safe with this whole corona virus going on and I just hope everyone, even though states are reopening, that you know you use discretion and just slowly get back out there so that way you and your families can stay safe. So I'm coming to you guys today with another video and for some reason it just seemed like nothing wanted to work right today I had so many issues doing this it, I don't know what it was whether it was just the weather or the rain the lightning all this stuff going on just everything was just going crazy like one of my poly gel bottles busted open at the end the layers that I was putting on wanted to fall off I kept having to readjust these fingers because the nails kept popping off the forms was acting funky I don't know what was going on today but for some reason like this whole process took way longer than it should have taken and I had to like do some serious editing on this video but despite all that I hope that you know you guys will find this video informative and in the end you'll see the results and I think these nails came out real bomb so keep watching and I'll get back to y'all in a little bit so I decided to cut down the nails to kind of reduce some of that um, nail bed it's just super long for no reason um, and I buffed over the nail bed applied the forms and applied that base coat gel now normally when I'm doing my own nails I'll make sure to put primer and dehydrator on there before the base coat so that way there's no lifting with the nails but I'm not gonna waste it on this practice hand but generally that is what you will do or must do you know just to make sure that there's no lifting um, for this look I'm going for a purple and gold rose gold type of thing I absolutely love purple purple and rose gold together are just super super bomb and I figured on this set I would do the pointer finger and the pinky finger with a reversed um, French look going in with that nice pink like almost nude looking color at the nail beds and for the two mid the middle finger and the index finger I'm just gonna lay down this thin layer of that nude color to kind of disguise the darkness of that nail bed of these um this practice hand so that way when I do my color scheme on it and my glitters then you know it'll pop a little bit better um, so those glitters that I showed initially at the beginning of the video, I got those glitters from Walmart and I was amazed that this little pack, it had like, I want to say it was like 16 glitters, really pretty colors for $3.44. Um, it's a super fine glitter. It's not, it doesn't have like much chunky pieces, but that gold one that you saw before, I had gotten that when I purchased my Your Sugar Poly Gel and it has some chunky pieces. It has some fine pieces. It's mixed with a little bit of gold and rose gold and it's really, really pretty. So I was able to use all three of those to be able to create the, create the look that you're going to see at the end. And it was really really enjoyable just trying to make sure that I got the shape that I wanted because I'm going for a coffin look today and just creating this nail yes it's complicated it took time because of all the difficulties I was having initially but at the end of the day I really think that they came out really really good So here is where I started doing the nail bed portion, the extended nail bed for the reverse French look. And I wanted to make sure that like I slowed down this part of the footage so that you guys can see how I created that. I know in one of my previous videos, I had done a reverse French um, look. I think it was the unicorn video. And it was kind of like I was just starting and the lighting was off and things like that. Now that I'm understanding the program that I'm using a little bit better to edit my videos, I was able to zoom in 
a lot more and get the lighting right so that way you guys can see exactly how I'm able to create this extended nail bed and just making sure to file this nail bed at a 90 degree angle so that way I can get those sharp lines and stuff to be able to like showcase that look and accentuate that look on these two fingers which I would say is like the accent finger in this set but either way like I really wanted to make sure that you guys saw how I did that in this video now that I'm getting a little bit better with my editing game. your time and finesse this poly gel that's the thing I love about poly gel like it just is so workable and it doesn't set until you cure it each time I put this hand into the lamp whether it be for base coat gel poly gel gel polish I'm setting it for that full 60 second cure so that way I know that when I go back in on this nail there's not going to be any removal of any of my previous work because as you can tell like this is hard work it takes a minute to get the shape that you want you can get to the point where you're like overworking it but just use judgment and just take your time and make sure that everything is placed right where you need it to be so that way when it comes to filing you know you don't have that much work to do So I cut a lot out of this video because it took me a minute, like I said I was already having issues, it took me a minute to shape and file these nails. I'm just removing that inhibition layer so I can go in at that 90 degree angle and get the walls of this reverse nail bed nice and crisp, crisp. so I crisp, oh my gosh, so I can lay down this gel polish color and you'll see in a little bit what I did in order to be able to get them right up against the walls. Um, that gel polish, I believe it's a hybrid polish. I don't think it's a like straight gel polish because it just starts drying so fast before I even started curing these nails. So what I did is I take like a couple drops of the top coat and a couple drops of that polish and I'll mix it together. I got that polish from Walmart, a long, no, from the Dollar General a long time ago. So what I do is I just take a couple drops of each and just mix it around with my striping brush and I'm just going to go ahead and just carefully get along the side walls of the nail bed and just a little ways down the nail because my intention is to kind of have like an ombre effect under the glitter so here you can see that you just have to take your time and swipe it as best as you can excuse me my throat's a little itchy but just swipe it on and get it nice and laid down and for this I had to do two coats because you know it, it takes a while to build that deep color that you're looking for especially when you're not working with real gel polish so I cured for 60 seconds in between each layer and I took that same gel polish and I added a full length to the middle nails but I didn't do two coats on that nail because I wanted to kind of have this translucent look of the gel polish and you'll see that coming up real soon. So the main purpose of this set is to showcase the beauty of these glitters. So that's why I only went in with one coat of that polish and gel top coat mix to the two middle fingers. So that way the gel, the glitters can be like 
the center of attention on these nails. So that chunky glitter that I got from Your Sugar is what I went in with first. And then I just slowly put in some rose gold and some more purple to kind of show like it's almost like those glitters were in the polish. Um, from there, after getting the glitter on, I did like a ombre effect on this nail. But after getting all the glitters on all the fingers where I wanted it to be, because on the two reverse French nails, I did only rose gold at the tip of one and only purple at the tip of the other. But I did have both with that nice, beautiful, chunky gold you see there on both fingers. Um, I just went in and capped all of these with clear poly gel, file shaped and buff, and then I came back in deciding whether I wanted to do matte top coat on the two middle fingers or just keep it all shiny and you'll see my choice at the end. to the nails and of course when you put matte top coat on it looks shiny but once it's cured it gives you that matte finish um, I decided while that top coat was still wet I would apply the bling to it I chose to go with these gold um, stones they're not really stones they're like an aluminum kind of effect type of metal looking type of um, rhinestone so I decided to do that on both of the fingers in the middle and leave the reverse French nails plain to showcase the beauty of that reverse French. Um, the filing was exhausting on this and to be honest with you like I could have filed a little bit more on the reverse French nails but at this point I was just a little scared because I was having so many issues like I said earlier with the nails popping off, the fingers sliding down, just everything that could go haywire went haywire today. It was just absolutely crazy. So I went in with this matte top coat and I thought I liked it after curing until I saw what those reverse French nails looked like with that super shiny top coat on and I was like, nah, you gotta switch this up. And I think I really made a good choice by doing that in the end because I felt like that matte top coat hid the beauty of that glitter that was below and it hid all my hard work. And I'm like, see, there's my daughter. Like everything was going crazy. Like people was not cooperating with me today. Not even the nail stuff I was working with. But anyway, I felt like my hard work was hidden by putting this matte top coat on and I see that there's some streaking with this top coat too so I'm probably gonna have to invest no I'm definitely gonna invest in something better but you guys can see how beautiful and shiny those nails look so and you can see the two look at that matte it's like hiding everything until I put this top coat on and oh my gosh that shiny glittery it's just so so cute Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. I feel like I made a really good decision to put that no white top coat from your sugar on instead of leaving those two nails matte because it just hit everything. Like you couldn't see that I did an ombre on one of the nails. You couldn't see that I incorporated all of the glitters on the other nail. And you guys can see like little bits on the edges. I didn't want to overfile the edges. So my French is not as crisp as I've gotten it in the past, but these nails are just so freaking bomb. And I know I'm biased because I love purple, but I really, really think that they're so cute. 
y'all gotta tell me what y'all think like I put a lot of work into this and I think they're so pretty like these are the kind of nails that I would want to wear on a day-to-day -day basis oh my gosh look at that that's so beautiful but unfortunately being in the military I can't have my nails like this and I know I said I was gonna tell y'all why in my next video but I hope everyone stays safe I hope everyone is having a great Saturday don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll definitely talk to you in my next one